What up, Huff fam? Out here on our way to a new job site for a new client. Um, sounds like she um, gave us a call last year and for whatever reason we weren't able to schedule. So we're gonna run over there right now, run a quick estimate, and as long as the price is good, we're gonna go ahead and do the job the same day. Okay, so we booked the job just barely. Sounds like our price was a little high, so we gave them 10% off. We're gonna be doing this house for 375 and we're likely gonna water feed it. I'm gonna water feed it because there's a lot of French and divided windows. Not my favorite window, slightly tedious. Got these divided windows. Those are always a bit of a pain. And then we have these shutters that are split down the middle of a single window. So had to do some fine detailing, but we got the job done, 10 out of 10. Our client had carpet, so we made sure to lay down a few towels before cleaning each window, and as always, we have one our shoe covers. While doing the inside windows, we also unhooked all the screens. The other day in the comments, someone asked me why I don't use my screen cleaner every time I clean the screens. My answer for that is that if it's a regular, average-sized job, I just don't feel that it's necessary. Sure, the screen cleaner looks cool, but it's not a necessity, and I feel like cleaning them traditionally if there's only 10 to 15 screens actually is takes just about the same amount of time. But if there's 20 to 50 screens, I'm definitely using a screen cleaner. Here we go, water-fed pull is set up. We're checking our PPMs. As you can see, it's at 126, and that's way too high, so we're gonna let it run for a minute and try again. PPM should be below 15, ours is at 13, so it's probably time to change some filters. I'm in the middle of water feeding, but I wanted to say it took us uh, about three hours to do the inside and the screens. And here we go, doing some water-fed pole work. Usually for single-story homes, I prefer to do them traditionally. However, this home has quite a few French windows slash divided windows. When that's the case, I'll just go ahead and use the water-fed pole system because it cleans French windows pretty much perfectly. You'll notice when starting out, I went through and scrubbed all the frames down and then rinsed them off. The reason being is that I want to clean all that dirt up so that way if water sprays onto the frame, it's not going to drip onto the window. In the past, I've made the mistake of not cleaning the frame and just going straight to cleaning the glass. Nine times out of ten when I do that, I leave some sort of water dirty drip mark on the glass after it dries. So I always like to go through, scrub the frame, rinse it off, let it drip for a minute, and then go back, clean the glass making sure to get those corners really good and all the bottom edges as well. Again, I had someone in my comments asking me why I don't use the water-fed pole all the time, and personally, I feel like it's a tool that has a time and place for use. It's not necessary on every single job, and it's good to know how to clean traditionally. This is an example of why you always scrub the frame, because there's a ton of dirt built up in there, and who wants a clean window with a dirty frame? All right, it's about four and a half hours in. Just wrapped up using our water-fed pole system. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go inside, do any touch-ups, and then put the screens back in. Unfortunately, the windows on the back of the house were suffering from oxidation. The oxidation is likely due to the window seal beginning to fail. This in turn causes moisture and dirt to build up between the two panes of glass. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do to fix this, and the only real repair is to get new glass. That being the case, most people just keep it as is. I'm just always sure to make the client aware before I leave. All wrapped up, phone's on 1%. Didn't exactly hit a home run today. It took us six hours, so we averaged about $60 an hour, a little over $60 an hour. Um, a lot of divided windows. Um, I guess, I've, I don't know what ended up taking. I think the touch-ups probably took the longest. Um, someone in the comments was asking why I don't use the water-fed pole on every job and if I prefer traditional. And um, it really just depends on the job. With experience, you start to see which circumstances make the most sense to use a water-fed pole. Like today it made sense because there's a ton of divided windows and having to go through and do them by hand is obviously gonna take longer than using a water-fed pole. And using a water-fed pole on these French divided windows does a way better job than I think anyone could actually do by hand in a timely manner. So did that, same with the screen cleaner. Someone asked me, hey, why don't you always use your screen cleaner on the job if you got one? To me, it's just not necessary every time. I don't feel like I need to bring it out and pull it up and like, yeah, it looks cool and maybe get someone's attention, but it's like, I could just carry my bucket with me and do one screen at a time versus having to like bring the screens from the backyard to the front and then to the backyard again. It's like, if there's 30, 20, 30 screens, maybe I'll use it, but there's only 10 screens here. So it makes most sense to me to just do it traditionally by hand. And other than that, everything went smooth. There was some heavier buildup on the inside of the front window and I usually would hit it with steel wool. I just made her aware that there is tint on that window and you don't want to be using any kind of abrasive on tint because you'll just scratch the hell out of it 
and then you'll be owing somebody for some money for some tent or at least a free tent removal or something so we're all done 375 bucks for a part-time day i can't complain our hourly is a little lower than usual but it is what it is sometimes i'm still happy still had a great day i also want to say for uh, the new guys out there just because you have a water fed pole doesn't mean it's going to work absolutely perfect and it's not like you just walk in scrub it and rinse it and it's good to go it's like dude there's there's levels to it man you got to scrub the frame and sometimes you'll miss dirt on the frame even when you scrub the hell out of it and it's going to leave these these uh little dirt water marks on the glass and that happened today and i scrubbed the hell out of the frame and let it uh drip before cleaning so don't think that you're gonna get a water fed pole and it's just gonna be all abc one two three man there's still work to be done and you still gotta have that attention to detail and know how to work with the glass so be mindful of that and make sure you got your traditional cleaning down to a t